Hey guys, Zach Calhoun here. How you doing today? Hope you're doing well. I have a quick tip for you. Um, if you don't know who I am, I am the co-founder of cloudpanu.com. Uh, we are the world's best virtual tour software and virtual selling solution for your sales team. Um, real quick, I, I wanted to help you if you, uh, so you, quick backstory. Yesterday, we got on a um, open call and I said, hey guys, in, a, in an hour, we're gonna have this uh, open call and I send out to our users in our private Facebook group. It's called Virtual Tour Profit. Um, so I gave people an hour and like 12 or so people jumped in. We talked about, you know, where, where some folks are at in their business, um, you know, who's doing what, uh, how they're doing it, where they're struggling, where they're stuck, et cetera. And it was, it was fun. And, um, we, and something I thought about a lot since yesterday is uh, we had this guy on the call named Jesse, super nice guy, uh, obviously a really smart guy. Um, smart enough to where he jumped in the call while he was driving and decided to pull over. That's a good idea. I never want to get hurt because you're talking in a Facebook group uh, group, group chat call. Um, so so we're talking about his business, like where he's at, and um, and I, he, I, I asked him. I said, you know, so I hear I hear, hear you targeting. Let me ask you a straightforward question. Um, why are you not targeting maybe some bigger customers or some larger? entities or niches and uh he told me an honest answer which i really appreciate he said you know when it comes to the confidence to go prospect and sell these people i'm just kind of not there yet um so what we did was we we did a practice run so i'm gonna here's my two quick tips so so i asked where he was um i found a a nursing home uh nearby we called the number up we got the phone number of the right person. We got the name of the right person. His name happened, name happened to be Thomas. We got his phone number and we called him. Um, in the situation, that specific guy didn't answer the phone, but it was a great example or a simple example of, you know, anybody could do that. Anyone can call a nursing home front desk and say, hey, here's what I do. I'm looking for the right person to speak to. Um, you don't have to be a sales juggernaut to do that. <laughs> so so my first tip is, so, so how do you get the confidence to do this? Well, number one, um, you need to think of yourself as not selling something. I think this is where a lot of lack of confidence or, or delay or hesitation comes from. People think, well, how do I sell them? How do I get them to take, give me their money for the service or for the product? Well, the truth is like, that's, that, that never works anyway, so don't do that. Um, what what you need to do is stop selling and start diagnosing. Okay, you need you need to have an appropriate diagnostic understanding of their business, how they work, how they function, what their pains are, and then that's how you can determine how you can help them. Okay, so you can have a superpower. It can be three virtual tours. It can be digital marketing. It can be lead generation. It can be SEO. It could be Google My Business Management. It could be all these different. Like it could be. It could be, you, you could make really cool t-shirts, okay? For companies or whatever. It, it, the, the, the service or the product matters less, but you can have a superpower. But what I'm trying to say is, the service or product matters less at first. You need something to stand on, but be okay with changing your offer based on how or what they need and what their pains are. So. When you're at the beginning, you're trying to gain confidence, you're trying to find pain. You're, you're looking for pain. You're a pain discovery expert. That's what you need to be an expert in. When you do that, there is a distinct difference in how you call, how you talk, how you communicate, how you demo, how you close, because you understand the pain, okay? So stop selling, start diagnosing. When that happens, you'll be surprised at how much more confidence you have making the calls especially if you have one specific customer in that niche or a neighbor, like that's when you have a case study, you can document that and say, oh yeah, your buddy down the street, he's using us and doing really well and they love it, I thought you'd be a good fit. Then that, that's it, your, your pitch is just, hey, your competitor's doing it, what do you think? But when you understand the pain you're helping someone solve, it, it doesn't become a sales conversation, it becomes a value conversation. And that's what you need to do. If you wanna raise your prices, understand the pain. Increase your prices because you have a lot of value you're bringing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's number one. So be good at diagnosing. Number two, practice. Listen, 
I was coaching one of our sales reps today and he said, man, I just want to do it perfect. I want to be perfect. And I, you know, I want to be good and I, I want to understand the deck better, et cetera. And I, and I, and I said, listen, you're not going to at first. So get over that. Just practice. Like, here's the steps. You know them now. Now go screw it up. And that's okay. Practice, right? So you have to practice. There is no skill in the world that doesn't require practice. Sorry. You know, my background, I played baseball. Like, to be a good baseball player, you have to start from five years old and throw and hit and field every day until you're 18 and have a chance to go play in college. That's just the way it works. And some of those lucky few get to go to play in the big leagues, right? Well, that's years of practice. You know, and whenever I was interesting as an analogy is I would see someone throw a baseball that's never played and you could tell right away. They never play. They don't know what they're doing. Their arm doesn't even go back far enough to throw the ball. They don't have the mobility the flexibility, they have no practice under their belt. They don't have years of, of experience. So you have to have practice to even have a shot at getting on the field. That's the way it works. So if you're looking for a magic bullet, if you're looking for like the perfect script, stop looking and go start practicing and screw it up. And then you know what? Your script starts to reveal itself. The pain, that if you're gonna find the pain, will reveal itself. Okay, you know, so uh, hopefully those two, those two tips there are super helpful. Um, think about that. You know, if you're making a call with someone you don't know, it, it, it feels so unorthodox. Am I interrupting their day? Blah, blah, blah. Don't think about anything. Just press the buttons and press send and see what happens. Okay? You got nothing to lose. Most businesses are starting to sell them. Um, and I recognize like my personality is a little different sometimes, like than some people, like I don't really care what anybody thinks, you know, I can tell you, you know, don't care what anybody thinks, but it's okay to care. It's okay to people, if you care what people think, but, but it's not okay to let that hold you back. Right? So let, let, you know, your emotions, just put them to the side. Okay. So that's an important thing. Um, yeah. So, so with that being said, I, I, there's a lot of good things coming. So if you don't know, you know, what the heck we're doing, what we're talking about, um, you know, virtual tour, profit, our Facebook group is growing rapidly. Cloud Piano, the software, our user base is growing rapidly. And our technology is changing for the better. We have a lot of cool stuff we're releasing. It's like crazy tech, man, it's crazy. Okay, it's really cool stuff we have rolling out. Um, and y'all get to use it and go make money with it, which is great. Um, we're also going to be having some new offers, some new stuff that we're going to be rolling out. And I think, you know, when I help the community kind of in these coaching calls types environment, I realize, you know, I can have a huge effect and help somebody kind of get over that hump, being their accountability partner, like being there for them, helping push a little bit, showing the way, right? So um, there's some things coming we're going to be working on and releasing. So pay attention to that, you know, subscribe to this channel, um, subscribe to our email newsletter, um, lock in what we're doing because we have a ton of cool stuff coming. Um, so with that being said, your call to action is very simple. Stay tuned. See, uh, stay tuned to what we're doing. And uh, number two is uh, become a Pro Plus member on Cloud Piano. You can't go off and use the tool to go sell stuff if you don't have the access, right? So uh, commit to yourself and, and join the group today or join our platform today. Um, yeah, so cloudpiano.com and also of course, um, I highly recommend looking at and attending an upcoming webinar at virtualtourprofit.com. Uh, there's an hour and a half long webinar there. It's super helpful. Um, at the end of it, you have, you'll get access to BTPS, which is a really cool program that includes Cloud Piano Pro Plus for one year. So you might as well check it out. Um, and it's a free class. So give it a go. Also too, our team is uh, standing by to help you in the book strategy calls. So if you do watch that webinar and you say, hey, this is pretty cool, I have some questions, no problem. Book a time with our team, we're here to help you, okay? In general, um, there's a lot of stuff coming, okay? A lot. So I'm like jacked up excited, man. Clayton Rothschild is like the world's class, is a world-class developer and a team leader and it's been it's gonna be really cool, the stuff that we're rolling out. So. Be ready. Talk soon.